today I'm going to show you how I dye my hair at home because my hair used to be blonde and where is it? <laughs> Here's the picture. This is how my hair used to be. But I decided to dye it like last year and it's been like this but then I decided to go back. But um, I'm not like happy with the colour that I'm using today but it's just so I don't have roots because look they've got really like bad like they're coming through and yeah but I like the colour but it's just I like something that has like red or purple in it but this is okay for now so I'm using the dark brown Seen it. And I will show you how I dye it at home and what precautions and stuff that I take. And yeah, carry on watching. This top that I got from, I think it was International, someplace where I live. And then I've got these shorts which are turned up because I've lost like a lot of weight. So yeah, these were from Primark. I'll show you the, the master design on the side of the butterfly. And yeah, these are quite loose now because I've lost like half a stone. But yeah, they're really comfy. And yeah, I can dye my hair. But what you need is like a towel and old clothes, like anything, like you can actually like ruin them because dyeing your hair <laughs> like if it's dark even if it's light the bleach in the like the light will actually light in your clothes <coughs> so we are gonna mix the mixture which ain't that hard but I lay down the like the information sheet because I've already I've done my hair a lot of times since I was 16 and I'm 23 now, so yeah, this is just the sheet that I use, like I just use this, and you get free gloves with the hair dye, everyone, even if it's cheap, cheaper light than the higher brands, so yeah, you just get these sort of gloves, but if you want the stronger ones, you can buy them from like any 99p store. And yeah, I'm just putting these on. Sorry, <laughs> so you uh, get the developer and you open the top of it and put the top somewhere close. And yeah, here's the okay, that won't spill out anyway. But every um hair color cream, like everyone has the closed top so what you do is like you have this piercing the top and then you pierce it okay and this is the hard bit because <laughs> i want to show you like how to put it in so oops so yeah, I just hope this works. But what you do is you try and keep. Okay. Okay, I can't wear the gloves because it's just getting stuck. But you can wear the gloves if you're like scared that you might get the dye on your hands. But this has never really happened to me. So. But there's always first time, as I know you're going to say. But here, like, you just keep it very tight. Like, keep it going into the tube into the bottle not true but you keep look keep it over the top and yeah just keep going until you get to the bottom and usually at the bottom there's a lot so you just push hi guys so i'm back and I have my hair dye and a towel, old, old towel, and I've changed a hair clip and 
I wet my hair because you're supposed to wet it just a bit, like, and then comb it through. So, yeah. Right. I'm going to probably be looking down a lot because I'm looking at the laptop hall mirror. But, yeah. By a tree, so. How I start is I massage it in. Like, I just put it in places. You'll see. I just put it there and then I'll massage it in and go all around. Because this way it gets everywhere. Like, I know it's, like, in my roots and that. And I don't do it how they, that they tell you how to do it. So, yeah. But I sometimes wear a towel a little bit. So, yeah. So... Let's get started. So what I do is I'll put some, why was I going to put it on the middle of my hand? I'll put it, stop doing that. I'll put it like, like this. And you should open a window as well, because the smell is not that nice, but it's not as bad as, ugh. like, how can I explain, it's not, it's very, very uh, overpowering smell, so you need to have this. So yeah, this is what I generally just do, like, I'll start from the front and then work it backwards but trying to like put it through every like as I'm doing I am looking at my mirror too much but yeah I'll just like carry on doing this and I'll come back when I've like done all of it. I'll see you guys in a uh, flash. Hi guys, so um, I finished like putting the dye in my hair and as you can see it's already going like darkish and it's like on my forehead. But that's fine, it just washes off. So just go and wash off the soap. But here it's like, it's up. <laughs> and so it's out my way so I will leave this on for at least half an hour usually just half an hour so just read what it says on the on the box because then you'll know so I'll come back and show you the finished product when it's washed because all you do when you wash it is you put a conditioner they usually get a conditioner I didn't get one with this but I'll put a brunette conditioner the one that was in the bed bedtime routine so yeah hi guys so this is the it's still wet but this is what it looks like like the roots kind of sorted themselves out I still have to dry it in that and I'm just about to take a bath because I'm gonna put some because I want to get tan but I don't because I got fair skin I don't want to like you know prevent my skin from getting skin cancer so 